I found the range of events that are outside the curriculum um, really impressive. And not that I was surprised that there were events, I was surprised by the international aspect, you know, having dancers from New Zealand coming in, and, you know, it's really extraordinary. And I think that was something that was very um, interesting, and I got that sense of, wow, I would have loved to have gone to some of those sessions. They sounded great, just on a sort of fundamental level, and that was cool. I mean, I actually genuinely loved schoolwork, so I was really, like, the geeky kid that would love doing his homework. I loved pretty much all of my studies. Outside of studies, um, I think theatre. I think theatre and uh, the play I put on was probably the high, a real high one. So I put this play on when I was 16 and 17. And uh, that was great. Start early is good. Studying when you're at school is a really good thing to do. Um, and to finish the thing you're working on. You know, if it's not finished, it's really hard to make an evaluation of its strengths and its weaknesses. And so many writers talk about wanting to write and don't write, or start something and don't finish it. And what happens is it damages your sense of being able to say, I am a writer because I finished something. So I would say finishing it is key. I did a book festival in Germany, and it was in Leipzig. And Leipzig had a former secret police station. And I did a book reading in the former secret police station. And I remember looking out, this is for Child 44, looking out at the audience, and many people in the audience were over the age of 50, so they had grown up under the Stasi and had lived with the secret police. And suddenly realizing that the words I was putting down had moved people who had lived during that period and experienced that was very special. That was a highlight. You know, my, my theatre teacher was jolly saying, you know, if you don't take this opportunity, you're a writer. And I think as a piece of advice, that sense of what will I regret if I don't do something uh, is a very powerful piece of advice. It's a sense of this sense of don't miss those opportunities when they're presented to you. So I think that was probably the key.